This is Greg Troutwine with Marine Technology Reporter, and we're here at Oceanology International in London, and we're here with Sahil Gandhi, the CEO, and Chris Blake, Vice President of Unique Group, to talk about this innovative company and its trajectory in the subsea space. So, Sahil, to start us off, I understand you're celebrating 30 years this year. Why don't you talk a little bit about the company and its trajectory? Yeah, thanks, Greg. Um, so, look, Unique Group started off in 1993, three people in a warehouse, you know, in uh, Sharjah in the UAE. Uh, and we started off as a trading company. We, we were representing companies from Europe, helping them bring them to the Middle East. And over time, by just listening to our customer, you know, that has been the m mantra for the business for the last 30 years and probably for the next 70, um, is what, what is our customer need and how can we help them uh, add value uh, to the ecosystem. And so, you know, we've been very focused on our customers and through listening to them, we've innovated, created our own solutions, uh, built capability um, to where we are now, where we have five business lines, um, which are essentially subsea technology plays, uh, are very focused on adding value through equipment and service. Um, so we have 18 locations around the world, uh, three manufacturing sites, in the UAE, Cape Town, and in the UK. Um, yeah, and so, you know, it's, it's been a very organic history um, of listening to our customer, following our customers, and continuing to add value. Um, and that's our, that, that's our ethos. So Chris, we're standing obviously in front of a new USV from Unique Group. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the USV offering from Unique Group today? Love to, yes, no, I mean, Unique has been developing USVs now for over five years. Um, we've developed a fleet, a uni fleet as we call it, uh, varying in sizes for different needs and, and have been developed for our clients uh, with those needs in mind. Um, sustainability, environmental needs are, is, is essential as well. And we've been trying to push that into the development of these systems over the, over the last few years. The smallest one that we have behind us, the uni mini, um, latest uh, edition, carbon fiber, lightweight, very portable, easy for our clients to uh, deploy in a variety of different uh, uh, regions and, and locations. Um, but the, uh, the other systems that we have um, are the UniPact, which is a, a mid-range system, about uh, two to three meters long, uh, multi-payloads, again, very adaptable, sustainable, all electric, um, excellent piece of kit for, uh, for our clients' uses. Uh, the more recent one is the UniMax, uh, it's a five meter version now. It's a hybrid version, which is taking us into the next, I would say, the next level, giving us better endurance um, and enabling our clients to, I would say, access those parts of the, the, the business that they haven't potentially been able to do before. So it's, uh, they're, they're all very unique in their own way, way but very adaptable uh, and can be used in a lot of ways in, for, for the projects that they do. Um, the systems are very similar from a control sense, so our clients are able to swap between the two without having to train people multiple times, so you can use different uh, systems quite easily. Um, all the spares and the parts that go within these are very similar. So again, very cost efficient for our clients um, and easy to use in that sense. So it's, uh, yeah, it's been a remarkable journey over the last five years. Um, technology innovation has played a, a massive step in what we've been doing there. Uh, we're getting a lot of excellent feedback on the systems and we're using those in in projects all over the world. Uh, Singapore, recently we did some, um, uh, some nearshore surveys for the, uh, the universities over there. Um, we've done cable and pipeline nearshore surveys detecting uh, burial depths. Um, because they're very adaptable, we can put different systems on and different payloads uh, and, and just drive what our clients need. And that's, that's ultimately what Unique's about. We're all about our clients, what they need, and making sure that we deliver the product that they need to make things more efficient, cost-effective, and safer. So Sahil, you know, you can't, you can't open a news feed, you can't read anything today without a reference to uh, artificial intelligence. Can you tell us how artificial intelligence is materially impacting the unique group offer today? Yeah, for sure, Greg. Um, so look, there's no doubt AI is not just a buzzword, you know, it is having daily impact on the world right now. Um, and as a innovative company who's always trying to think ahead, especially for our customers, you know, we, we started to put our minds together and, and figure out how we can add value, right? Um, and so, uh, 
you know, what we have is 20 years of experience working with over 10,000 unique pieces of equipment um, and a lot of history and data that are that is bespoke to us, right? Um, and so we were, we were really looking to see how we leverage that and offer our experience and mindset to our customers um, and, and make their lives easier, right? And so our first AI application is called Aquila. Um, it is a online troubleshooting AI. Uh, so if you can imagine it's 3 a.m. at night and you're stuck offshore uh, and you need and your piece of kit goes down, uh, instead of trying to scramble around and trying to call some engineers, you're now able to use the system and get pretty much 90% of the way there in your troubleshooting applications. And so that's the first of our applications. We see that we have a lot more bespoke data sets that we have in our business, which we want to leverage and offer and democratize to our customer. So that's obviously our external play. Internally, we're using it in a variety of ways as well to help us with our productivity. And again, be faster, quicker, better uh, for our customers. So yeah, it's a very exciting space. And um, we, we just wanted to start playing in this space so that we can actually be involved as part of the future, right? Uh, you know, obviously Unique Group is diversified. Um, it is a manufacturing uh, organization. But, you know, as you see all around us, uh, research and development is critical to everything that everyone in this hall does. Why don't you talk a little bit about the R&D efforts at Unique Group? Yeah, of course. So, you know, with, with R&D, our, our goal again is to provide innovative solutions for a purpose, right? They've got to be quicker, better, faster, cheaper, and help our clients solve a problem, right? Um, and so at our core, we have a very deep engineering capability, which we now leveraged through multiple lines of business uh, to create products and solutions and services which assist our customer in doing their job better in, in some way, right? Um, and so we can start with our survey division where we're developing bespoke deployment tools and data collection applications from our ASVs to very bespoke specialist winches and uh, cable counters and, and things like that, uh, which help our customers do their job better on a day-to-day -day basis. What we also have is a very large multidisciplinary mechanical engineering team which can build a whole variety or design a whole variety of innovative mechanical solutions, whether that's back deck equipment, trenching equipment. So we just launched our UniFlow X, which is a very innovative uh, control flow excavation tool. Um, and so our R&D is driven by our customers' problems. Um, and what we're very good at is using our history and experience to quickly innovate and iterate solutions to solve their needs, right, in a practical way. So that's how we think about R&D. It's all about delivering on the, um, on, the, on the problems and the solutions for those problems of our clients. Uh, from a survey perspective, uh, we've, we've developed systems for mesh radio links. Um, uh, we, we've also moved into the USVs, as, as I mentioned earlier. Um, we've got the HBOT, uh, which is the health and uh, oxygen uh, systems that we use now. So we've developed a huge variety of R&D products that add value to those clients' needs um, across all divisions within uh, within Unique. So it's not just focusing. I would say the catalyst has, to some extent, been the survey aspect of what Unique does. But from that, is is grown to the other divisions. The development of the engineering division that we've, we we now have within the group has has formed a, a foundation to being able to actually make those those dreams actionable now. So it's uh, yeah, it's, it's been a phenomenal journey over the last few years and we're, we're, we're looking forward to the future and, and more ideas from our clients so that we can we take that opportunity to, to, to make, those, uh, make those dreams true. But when you look towards the future, what do you see as the future? What are the driving trends and how are you preparing for your tomorrow? Oh, for sure, so we've always tried to be very aware and educate ourselves on technology and where it's moving. Look at other industries and see how they're deploying technology. Um, it tends to be, unfortunately, that the energy industry is slightly slower in implementing technology. Um, and so we look, we look to other industries and see how we can bring that technology in. And so obviously right now, data 
digitalization, AI are, are, are big words and we're looking to see how we play in that. But our, our industry is also very physical, right? And so practically what equipment and how can we innovate in equipment to help the energy industry or help the subsea industry in general. Um, and I, I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but you know, it is customer first for us, right? We, we are very in tune with our customer. We want to know their problems. And then we see it as our role to come up with solutions, right? Um, and how we commercialize that, how we market that is kind of secondary. Our first goal is to actually solve problems uh, with our expertise, build the capability and continue to build that capability. Um, and, and then we move on from there.